Yeah, when you were talking about habits and addiction, I I want to uh, ask. It's I have to focus on the mind, isn't it? I don't have to focus on my behavior or my addiction is uh, to eat a lot uh, and also distract with uh, television. Uh, if I don't want to feel things, um, so um, I'm always shifting. Like oh, I, because I I'm I feel so ashamed of this behavior, this distraction, this addiction. Well, maybe that's the biggest addiction: to be hard on yourself, punish mm -hmm. yourself, and to feel bad. It's more like when you recognize your willingness, you know, that's to celebrate and, mm. and to go with it. Um, and yeah, I feel we can talk a lot about this. It's really, you know, everyone has their own different version of this. So, um, Yeah, I mean, it is actually miracles that will free you. It's actually miracles that will free you. Will free me, yes. Yeah, yeah. it is like you're, you're aware, it's not really modifying your behavior. It's not actually about that. Although the ego will say this, you should eat less. You should not eat that. You shouldn't watch TV that much. You know, while here they're saying, Practice the holy instant. Keep practicing the holy instant. And then there are countless of ways that spirit will want or that spirit will reach you. And the spirit wants to reach you in any way possible. <laughs> My experience is that it's joyful. It needs to yeah. be joyful because if the harshness is there, it's just another form of the ego's way of putting guilt. And the joyfulness doesn't come from doing the practice. The joyfulness <laughs> comes from the connection with spirit. Mm -hmm. And to see the little, I find to see the little uh, subtle thoughts in the mind, like even maybe there is often like something else underneath when we turn to sweets or food mm -hmm. or TV or there is something very uncomfortable underneath that um, I'd say is ready to be seen. So even to spend a little time with the mind and with the feelings before allowing yourself that treat can be mm -hmm. very helpful, even five, 10 minutes with, with what's going on. Uh, it may change your whole direction or not, but you will release that discomfort or maybe find something or talk to somebody. Thank you. Yeah. <sighs> it's just good to say, I've, I feel so ashamed. It's just to put it on the altar and say, well, I just want to, sometimes I just want to crawl into my house. Nobody may, uh, can see me. So, but it's not gone if I do that. <laughs> mm -hmm. I have to face it, I guess. Yeah. And also to know that the shame is a projection or the guilt that okay. you, you feel about your body. Mm -hmm. That is a projection from the mind. It's not really about the body so that is a good thing to know then you can practice feeling this rawness or exposed and no it's not really coming from that from the, the size of the body or the look of the body and mm -hmm. um, just to know that it comes from the belief in separation and it will start to heal that belief just by allowing yourself to feel those feelings.